and welcome to my very first commentary for Rome Total War 2. Right now I have it paused, as you can see, I'm playing as the, Arvar the Arvarni. <laughs> my ally is Rome. Now let's just click play and see what happens. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five Celtic warriors. I have like Trojan swordmen. I have my Gallic hunters, Trojan spearmen, my noble horse, my general right here. Well, my light horse. And my heavy horse is over here. As you can see, my ally has decided to move up his forces over here. At first I thought he was going to try and hide some units over here. He does hide some units, as you can see he's putting the horses over there. Let's see the makeup of my ally. Let's see. Do, do, do. Look at that. He's got some archers. He's got his study. Let's look at my opponent's forces. They both went. I forgot what this faction was called, but you see, he puts his formation diamond for some reason. Elephants, archers, as you can see, look nice, pretty line of archers. Ah, oh, he did pikemen. I don't know why he did pike pikemen, but okay. I can see his f ally has a better build. It's not just pikemen. Now back to the battle. We're gonna speed this up just a little bit. I'm sorry, but this is my first video and commentary. I'm sorry if I don't get this right on the first try. Alright. I have no idea why it's going so slow for me. I can see I'm currently moving my chosen spearman over to this flank. See. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my archers. I'm just going to put them right behind this line, you know.
my allies currently a nice little tight formation here Looks like there's going to be a little battle here between these two forces. Oh, no. He's backing off. My god, they're so deep. So you see, now he's going to start moving up. And I'm going to get my forces in a line here. I'm going to deal with this guy. I played a match with him earlier and lost. But as you can see, I'm moving up my horsemen and my spearmen Serena! Not much is going to happen on my phone for right now, so we're going to go over here. And it looks like his ally is just sending his archers out. I have no idea what his ally was thinking. But look at that, look how far away they are from the troops. I don't know why my ally did not decimate the archers right there. Ah, that's why. See, this battle is raging on. Gonna switch it to slow mo. Just so you can guys see what's going on. He left his spears. See, look at that. Look at how the He's being tagged it's like right there. But it doesn't really matter because of this. As you can see, the battle has started over here for me. I'm trying to beat his cavalry right here into an engagement with mine so I can send my archers and just like decimate them. I'm not too worried about this front right here. So my main focus was pretty much his cavalry. I want to completely get rid of them.
It looks like my ally is chasing the enemy's archers. <laughs> looks like he's got all that behind this one group. It's just like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, run, 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 run. See, now I'm going to move my spearmen up. I'm going to move my cavalry up. And I'm moving my archers up. Look at that fire. See, I'm completely getting it. I don't know why I say completely. It's so weird. But I'm not going to chase that archer unit. So I'm just going to send my archers onto the next one down the line. I mean, he's going to start getting pot shots off of my chosen spearmen. Oh, I guess I decided to attack his cavalry units. And now I'm moving up my chosen spearmen. Let's see, not much is happening, but his ally is moving all of his horsemen over there. I see over here, he is now reforming his line of archers. I'm taking this time to take pots off. Uh, his units. Victory for goal. He's going to send his calf, but I'm going to hit him with my heavy, and it will end chosen spearman. I'll use their ability to just attack the horses. What are we, brothers? I'm taking my light horse and we're gonna just slam right into here. And then I had all my archers focus fire right in here, just He's gonna focus fire all of his units, his archer units, on my archers. So I'm gonna move up my spearmen just to deal with that. He's gonna send, it looks like his general into that cavalry fight. Ah, oh, looks like one of my units about to break. Huh? No. I guess we're going to chase them off the field. One of my main regrets is I didn't bring this unit of force up here. But as you can see, I pretty much got him surrounded. As you can see, his units are not his main line. Has now just attacked mine. I'm bringing this unit over into here.
I see that my units are being surrounded. So this is about the time where I pr actually bring up this line of Trojan Swordsmen. But we're just going to watch this battle. Yeah, definitely one messed up out. Look at that. A tactical view, what's going on? <laughs> it doesn't look much cleaner either. <laughs> look at that. So here I'm bringing in my general. I'm just going to take him around and straight into them. As you can see, I completely am de decimating his units. Let's get Next, he's going to send in his reserves, but... They're not going to do much. Over here. Huh, I, I did not know they actually used their armored elephants in, in this engagement. You see, he has all these arm, this whole cavalry unit. Where are we here for some unknown reason? I have to my abilities, but as you see, I'm swarming his archers. See, he's going to go through this line. And try, and he's going to go around and smash into the backs. I have some units rejoining the fight. I didn't know he was there for a while. <laughs> but as you can see... Fire! See, he's gonna charge in the backs of this one. At this point, I think his archers ran out of ammo because they're not seen shooting at all for the rest of this match. So, I'm going to use my general to mop up his archers. He keeps his general just here, pretty much for the whole fight, except for moving it away. My ally has now completely surrounded the enemy's ally looks like he's gonna try and get a charge into the back of these men I 
But as you see, I'm pretty much just mopping up his forces surrounding his units. We're just gonna take it. Looks like his ally is gonna charge straight into the Sestadi. What I don't know is why he decided to pick off the Hestadi when he could have easily used it to come around and get at the backs and just free up his units. Nico used these elephants to charge into this poor line. Looks like my ally sees the horses and is now focus firing his archers on them. But yeah, I left this battle, you know. Right now, I'm mopping up all the archers and the remaining force of the enemy on my side. My ally is pretty much done. I mean, he's just got that one unit right there. And that's not gonna last for much longer. I finally realized these were here, so I was just gonna send them straight in there. Again, this is my first video of commentary. I hope to do more. I'm really sorry he's not that good, but you know, I'm not the Prince of Mastodon or um, Oakley or Diplix or the others. As you see, I'm just mopping up the forces now. His pikemen are now running scared. Look at all this death and destruction. Right now, I'm. Right now, I'm regrouping with my. Right now, I'm regrouping with my ally. My force is a mere shadow of what it once was.
pretty much my ally is gonna send his whole force against this armored elephant infantry. At this point, I was like, what the hell are you doing? He's just like... Look at those elephants. This is going to push all the way through. But as you see, most of his units are going to start rallying. So I had to send my general in and use his rally ability. <laughs> Now he's sending his horsemen after the these guys. I don't know why. But I take this advantage while they're all caught up to send in my general and a you know have chosen swordsman. I mean, at this time, we have like no ammo whatsoever. Looks like I lost the unit of spearmen to these elephants. About time they started wavering. And pretty much his median cavalry is no match for my noble horsemen. So I don't really suffer too much damage from them. These guys are going to eventually regroup about around this tree. And my ally is just going. <laughs> my ally is just bound and determined to chase down these elephants. You see, his drone unit is going to try and hit my noble horseman. I see this coming. And so I'm going to pinter him in with this unit and this unit. See, he activated all these abilities. I have no idea what they are. But once he's pinned down, I'm just going to run straight into his Cafrax. As you can see my ally is sending in his troops to completely decimate the general. As you can see the general is starting to route pretty quickly.
But I don't think he's gonna get a chance to get out of there. And as you see, his cafes have been completely prelated. Let's watch my drone unit mow them down. And they're out. It was a nice and good game from my enemy. I mean, his ally that was right over here, I had no idea what he's doing. I don't think he really put much thought into what kind of strategy he was going to use. Honestly, I think he thought that my army would be obliterated completely, and so he would have his friend just come around and save him but I don't know anyways this is Colt Native and thank you for watching my replay